Alright guys, let's get this project going. Now this is my old sim rig frame. Uh, I've got the GE25 driving force on there, some pedals, seat. I do like the seat, it's a little bit narrow for me, and we'll see what I can do about that. But for right now, what we need to do is make a stable base. So by a stable base, what we're gonna do is we take the seat off, and we're gonna have this area to play with for um, mounting the U-joint and the motors in, in probably in the back. It looks like we got about four inches to play with. So let's get that seat off. All right. Oh, she comes right off. This thing is still pretty heavy. All right. So let's take a look at this. This is what we're going to have to deal with. All right. So the way this this sim rig frame gets its stability is from sitting on the ground. So what we're going to do, I'm going to take this inch steel and I'm going to make a small frame for the motor. Okay, so the motor's going to be back here somewhere and I just want to make sure that the uh, armature can fit around and doesn't hit the ground. Um, probably going to have to mount them inwards because the potentiometers are in, sitting inside. So probably like this somehow. Um, so we're gonna make the frame and we're also gonna make a seat frame that's going to attach to the U-joint. Now let's take a look at the U-joint. All right, so here's the U-joint. The other half, I'd already cut it off. I already cut off the other half and it's on my three, to, three degree of freedom rig. This one, it was 20 bucks. Not the best, but we're going to have to cut it really, really narrow here and right about here so that we can fit it within that four or five inches. So just trying to keep the design of, uh, just trying to keep the dimensions the same. The frame rails right now are four inches. So that's from the concrete or wherever, the carpet or whatever to the bottom of where the seat that we just took off is. So here's the seat. So we got about four inches. We could go up a little bit, but I don't want to really get too far. So I'm going to take a look at this thing. I put a piece of tape here real quick, just so that um, I can kind of guide myself, just so that I can kind of guide myself. But if we measure that cut, we got about four inches right now, right to the right to the edge of this uh, this piece of steel here. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and cut this. I'm gonna cut it around here just to see how it, how it goes. That way I can get some better measurements. But it's gonna be pretty short because once again, between the seat and uh, the ground, at least in this rig. Um, we need about four inches, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit more we can deal with. Well, let's get this thing cut or at least started. It's going to take a little while. You know, if you're using an angle grinder, it's way better than using a hacksaw. That's all I can say. All right, there we go. All right, so here we are. We got uh, a few joint off. I mean, it still works. Yeah, it's rusty, but you know, that's what wire brushes and paint are for. And this is gonna be so strong. When we put the seat on here and we mount the seat frame to here, it's gonna be plenty strong. I mean, there's no way you're gonna break something like this. This thing has, there's just no way. These things are awesome. All right, so you're probably saying, what in the world are you doing? Well, okay, there has to be a center pivot for the seat. When the motors are back here, and I'm gonna make the, extend the frame out like one foot. When the motor's out here, the, uh, the seat itself is gonna be able to pivot let's see, back and forth, and it's gonna go left and right. So, if I took a quick measurement here, I'm right at five inches from the concrete, from 
the rug from the bottom of the rig. So I'm right at five inches. I'm just gonna grind this off just a little bit. We're gonna try to stay at that five inch mark. We're gonna try real hard. Um, now I still can go down a little bit more on this. I can go down maybe, maybe a three eighths of an inch. Um, and I definitely can go down more on this, but this is the, where all your weight's gonna be. So whether you're accelerating, okay, so there's that plane. If you're braking real hard, there's that plane. So we're gonna have to actually get rid of this part of the frame. We're just gonna extend it out and build a better frame back here. It's gonna be stronger than these little pieces of steel that are bolting it on. Uh, so the next thing, we gotta find the balance point. So the balance point of the seat, when you or me, and when I'm sitting in the seat, I gotta find where it balances out if I'm, you know, kind of like this, now it's just, it's not gonna be my legs. It could be just a little bit of my arms, but it's not gonna be my legs and my feet, which will be way out there. That's a, that's, that's hard to deal with. This is just gonna be basically my torso. I'm gonna try to find the balance point of the seat. So let's do that right now. That way we know where to put this in relation to the, uh, the little frame that we're gonna build. All right, guys, so how do you find the balance point? This is how. You get a half inch conduit, so it has to be something round. I'm gonna shove it underneath here. You can already tell. And if you move it way over here. Yeah, so that's the balance point. So what we wanna do is I'm gonna sit in it and you know lean back and try to find the best uh, representation of the balance point. Because you don't want it way over here, the motors, they might not ha have enough energy to actually move it. You want it right on the tipping point. I just want to roll the seat back a little bit at a time. Lean back and then relax. Now lean back and try to find where my weight is centering on this uh, on the balance point not gonna well it might be right here yep so just fiddle with it for a little bit that's too far forward it doesn't take much so these motors are actually going to move the seat it doesn't take too much basically right about here so I'm gonna mark it I'll take a measurement and that's where we're going to put the U-joint right underneath the seat. I just realized that I have all these flat surfaces, so I don't need to grind any of this stuff down. I can just put like the frame right here and weld it on. So it should be way easier than grinding that down. And I'm going to get that half inch back. So cool. All right. So something I just, just figured out safety, safety wise. If I weld anything here, the seat's gonna catch on fire. It's already done it once for me, um, somewhere over here. But, so I, I need to take these off anyway. These are just the seat rails. Okay, so I thought about this, and these are plenty strong just to be, uh, I'm gonna try just welding some inch square tubing right here. And these are the uh, the left upside. We'll actually weld them down here. I'm gonna weld two of them, and they're gonna go across like this. I think if I have two of these, it should work fine. We'll see. Um, so once again, we just have the seat frame here. These are. It's these pieces right here and I am just going to attach some inch square tubing right here and right here okay and then 
the U-joint is just going to sit in the middle. So it's going to be right inside here on the bottom. And, you know, let me just see if this works. I think it's going to work. It should be strong enough. I mean, these, these pieces of metal, they're fairly sturdy. And if it's not strong enough, we'll just go ahead and build a whole frame for the seat. But let's just give this a shot and see if this works. Okay, so... I put the two brackets back on here for just for now. I measure out, I'm going to measure out 17 inches right here. And so that's what I'm going to cut the, uh, the inch square tubing to 17. I'm going to put one right here and put one right here on the bottom of these pieces. So we'll just take these back off. I'll weld them up. Um, and, and that will be where the uh, U joints going to sit right here. Yeah, somewhere um, let's do it right at 17 now I have these two I line them up. I know. I mark right there. Also, if you want to take time now to clean this thing up, get all the rust and crud off. Now this isn't going to be my daily driver, so I'm just going to hit it with some paint. But uh, I did get most of the rust off. I will wipe them down with acetone, just to get any weird crud off of it. And I am not an experienced welder, but that is one thing that I learned. Okay? And you don't want this anywhere near your uh, sparks. Alright, so... Let's just keep... Uh, Move it on this stuff. Should be fine. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so I'm going to put one more here. Yeah, just like that. Okay, so I'm going to clean this off um, and put it on there. Yeah. That's all right. So we got a good 90 here. All right, so before I get too far ahead of myself, I just wanted to do a quick test fit to make sure everything lined up on the seats. And it does. So let me take it apart again. And then the U-joint, she's just gonna go in here, right between these two. This is some pretty, pretty stiff metal. I mean, this is definitely gonna be fine. Um, this is just a seat mover, so here we go. All right, well, I got everything centered up. Um, this has actually turned out to be a pretty decently strong project. Um, so I'm just gonna tack in this, the U-joint, and we'll just see what happens. We drew it up, we designed it, and here it is. Um, fully articulating seat frame. It might weigh 15 pounds, it's maybe 10 pounds. Pretty heavy, but that's because of the U-joint. So you're not actually throwing all that weight around. So we test fit it on the seat, which works. Now. What we're gonna do, since this is not gonna be my daily driver, that's my daily driver, I'm just gonna weld it on here. Yep, see, just, it should, the seat's gonna, actually, there's more adjustability than I first thought, because not only can, in, in the one position I put the seat in, it was, a, it was perfectly balanced, um, 
but I can also adjust it. I forgot that I could adjust it by just moving this, this lever and then I can slide the seat back or forward if I need to. So yeah, I do think I'm gonna end the video here. So we did some good progress. We're not done, but this is good. See, all we need to do is build that, that, that rear frame, extend it out a little bit, and then the motors should be able to move this. So, I'll try to get some more work done on it this week, but for now, I got a big hurricane coming through tomorrow, so I gotta get prepped for that. So, Dave out. Thanks for joining me.